When it comes to a family tradition, the Andres of San Jose, California can boast three great generations worth. A huge part of trucking for me is it's familial, it's that sense of family. Their trucking tradition includes 50 years of working, restoring, showing, and total appreciation of their Peterbilt trucks. All you have to do is look at one and you'll understand why it's special. It's probably one of the most comfortable trucks to drive. It's Anybody who ever has a Peterbilt has a hard time getting something else. Let's meet the Andres, Dad James, son Xander, and the man who started it all, Grandpa Manuel. Because I take a certain amount of pride in having the trucks and keeping them up and preserving history. And say hey to their canine companion and truck yard mascot, Petey. His name is Peterbilt and we call him Petey for short. He is the mascot. Come on, bud. Petey roams the yard that serves the state of California, the fifth largest economy in the world. San Jose is the center of Silicon Valley, home to the headquarters of the world's leading tech firms. And the Andres help build the bustling Bay Area with their Pete trucks. The Peterbilt is the quintessential American truck. But when you think of American truck drivers, you think Peterbilts. You think big, strong, hard-nosed Peterbilts. Time to meet the fleet as Manuel shares the Fab Five, his top five Pete's in their vintage collection. This is a 78 Peterbilt, okay, with an extended hood, okay, it's got dual air cleaners on it and a KT600 coming under the hood. It also has a six and a four transmission. Every place we go, it's a dependable truck. It runs there and runs home. This is a 1965 Peterbilt, and the rare part about it is that it has a five inch extended hood because when it came from the factory, it had a Cummins NT380, and they had to have the special radiator for more cooling. One of the last trucks off the assembly line in 1968 was hand-signed by the crew that built it. Even the welder had something to say about the blue beauty. Number one in quality, 92586. This is a 1947 Peterbilt. It was sold by the local Peterbilt dealer in San Jose, and it's been around the area all its life. I went down to look at this truck. My wife went with me, and while we were there, she looked it over, and then we came home. She says, I'm gonna buy that for your birthday, and that's what she did. She bought it for me for my birthday, so I could add it to my collection. So life is still good. A few more pizza are in line for the Andre tradition of restoration. They're ready with a well-stocked classic boneyard to call parts from. What I love about the trucks is they, when you see them rolling down the road, it really is part of a, live, uh, of a living history of America, you know. A lot of people try to cre will credit anything else in the world that, to the success of this country, but when you boil it down to brass tacks, the success of this country was built on trucks and the hardworking men that drove them. And I love being part of that, and I, lo and I love the fact that my father and my grandfather helped in their own ways build portions of this country. This is really part of history. 47. That was a long, long time ago, if you think about it, you know. Oh, they're absolutely living museums. Um, from the 47 on forward, they're 100% they're living museums. The Andres are proud to share the significance that Peterbilt and American truckers contributed to building the Bay Area. With 50 years of excellence, they can't wait to get to 100, and Petey agrees.